After more than a decade of acrimony, things are starting to change. The Netherlands ambassador says investors from her country are ready to do business here and help this economy bounce back, even with political sanctions still in place. Can we separate the business from the politics? Um, not completely, of course. You know, business and politics, they, they touch upon each other. I do believe that, um, you know, the room that is offered, you know, in, in, in working together as a country, it's very important that, that the private sector take that room. The minister was very clear. He um, really believes that, you know, foreign direct investment will be uh, imperative for the uh, uh, economy, you know, to, to grow, the Zimbabwean economy. Um, and he is uh, very willing, uh, you know, to do the things that are necessary. That includes creating a conducive investment climate. Chinamasa has said Zimbabwe is willing to soften its indigenization laws, which are seen as deterring fresh capital. Such overtures are going to be well received, given the pent-up interest. Recently we saw KLM come back to, uh, to Zimbabwe. Um, this year, the, the Dutch financing company, FMO, took quite a considerable stake in the local bank, NMB. Um, I have, you know, we've had, as, as an embassy, spoken to, to over 100 small to, um, I mean, medium to large uh, uh, Dutch companies who have expressed an interest, who are weighing their options. Earlier this month, there were media reports that France could be willing to forgive Zimbabwe's debt. That follows on the heels of the EU lifting sanctions on a government-owned mining company after intense pressure from international players in Europe's biggest diamond markets. The EU is due to review its restrictions in February next year. Analysts predict it could lift completely the remaining measures which could open the door for more trade. The EU is a significant market for Zimbabwe's gold, diamonds, beef, flowers and vegetables. There is a genuine desire by European businesses to come back to Zimbabwe. However, if this country is to cash in on this renewed interest, then international governments say its policies are key, specifically their clarity, consistency, and ensuring that this country maintains the rule of law. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.